Law enforcement officers put their lives on the line each and every day to protect our communities. And it really seems right now more and more often they're placed in violent, potentially deadly situations. Yeah, there have been two officer involved shootings in just the last three days. The latest happening this morning in Hamilton County. That's the Chattanooga area. We're told officers were called for reports of a disorderly subject. When they arrived, they found 42 year old Charles Payne holding up a baseball bat as a weapon. Payne then dropping his bat and pulling out a knife. That's when officers fired at Payne, who died at the scene. The second officer involved shooting happening over the weekend in Greene County. Police trying to pull over a car for speeding, but the driver didn't stop. Instead, led officers on a chase to a nearby apartment complex. A second man pulled a gun on police there, shooting and injuring two of the officers. That is when police shot and killed the shooter. It is worth pointing out two injured officers have since been released from the hospital. And with several of these violent shootings taking place in such a short amount of time, we wanted to know what goes into an officer's training for these situations and are these shootings happening more often? Reporter Kirsty Crawford going on your side to local law enforcement innovation center to find out more. Four officer involved shootings in East Tennessee within a month, at least six since the beginning of the year. Statewide, TBI is investigating 14 officer-involved shootings so far this year. While those numbers might seem pretty high, the executive director of the Law Enforcement Innovation Center says it's unfortunately not. He says social media plays a big role in the perception of officer-involved shootings. Just more exposure. Uh, you know, a link can be shared uh, many, many times, uh, liked many, many times and sent to an individual. What leads to an officer firing their gun at a suspect? There's hundreds of scenarios, but one aspect is always the same. The use of force policies are, are simple. Uh, you know, they're going to try to protect themselves and the lives of other, other individuals against loss of life or great bodily harm. Scarborough says officers have to make a tough choice within a matter of seconds under stress. They train in stressful environments, replicating real life situations almost identically, but each call is different, especially in domestic disturbances. What's dangerous for us is it's so unpredictable. Again, it may be the victim may actually turn on the law enforcement. Scarborough says nationwide, law enforcement officers make contact with someone a million times a week. Out of those million encounters, there's about a 14% chance someone dies in an officer-involved shooting. Reporting in Knoxville, Kirsty Crawford, WATE 6 on your side. All right, thank you, Kirsty. And right now, you know, it's pretty difficult to find out just how many officer-involved shootings occurred in previous years. This is the first year that the federal government actually will be collecting use-of-force incidents from local law enforcement agencies.